first of all akash uh, i'm so glad that you're here today i want to know like how did you start and you know, you've written it you know you probably you were you came from a background where you didn't consume a lot of stuff and then you started earning but even then you wanted not to you know indulge in so many things so you had certain things you wanted certain things to buy and all that but still you were not too much on uh, too much materialistic you were very focused on living in a very minimal stuff but to live with just a suitcase and not to have a house and to walk and do travel or have a tour it it sounded very very different but also i was very much envious of you you know i think i am in a phase of life where i am not envious of people who have a lot of things rather i am envious of people who are able to live with a very limited amount of things so you are one such one so how did, did this start so first of all thank you for having me on board it's uh, obviously an amazing experience to be here because i know that the community you have built is really something who understands the value of books in the in this age when we are running on scrolling 15 second or 30 second reels you have built a community of people who really understand or who have the power or strength to go through a 50000 or 80000 words book so that's amazing thank you for okay. inviting me to this some money plus some time is equals to freedom okay what happens we have so much money so little much of time. time then there's no freedom right or so much time little of money so then again there's no freedom because then now we are running we have to make some time make some money out of this time so you have to find a fine balance right mm. uh, you have to get your needs ready necessity ready that okay at least this much for sure i will need okay for my food for my clothing or for my basic uh, equipments i need or to keep making a little more money as well regularly and then yeah whatever the basic necessities mm. are somebody might say okay i need a home as well for me i don't need a home so then i'm lesser on it that okay, i don't need that much of a money mm. Mm. so now i know that okay let's say for example if i have 24 hours out of 24 hours if i invest 3 to 4 hours i can have make enough money right uh, so 3 4 hours are gone making money 4 hours let's say remaining 20 hours i'm sleeping for 8 hours now i have 12 hours yeah so 12 hours i can just live my life i can travel around i can be here i can go to places in chennai or whichever city i am and i can give 4 hours to work to make enough money to sustain the life because i know that i'm not demanding way too much yeah yeah so that's how you find freedom so let's say i wake up in the morning the first thing i do is check my phone or switch off my alarm that's what i generally do so is there something that you think we start you know we contribute to the carbon emission early in the morning do you think there is something that we do uh, first is <clears throat> when you tell me that you are using a phone i feel like a lot of people what they do is they connect it to the charging and see do oh that. yeah they do yeah don't do that uh, that will help you first of all save it there itself then second um, so climate change is not only what we emit but how we think as well we need okay. to fix that as well let's just not check when you wake up don't check your phone give time to yourself start the life slow okay right? then you'll be conscious that okay, what you're consuming if we fix our consumption we will automatically fix what are we emitting out of it mm, mm. if i eat a certain food out of that the waste will come right what am i consuming our consumption levels have gone up at to an unprecedented rate we don't live without phone we don't live without screen uh, we want to consume food regularly or some of the other thing we don't have this like thing okay breakfast lunch and dinner mm. we are munching throughout the day mm. right so first thing is when you wake up take care of it that okay your phones are not connected to the charger throughout the night charge them when they really needs to be charged when not then don't do it and also when you connect your phone kept on the charging the battery le- the health of the battery decreases mm. right and then slowly at sooner time you will feel that okay your phone is not healthy enough and you would like to discard it and buy another one mm-hmm. so don't do that first thing that's what i can say next is uh, okay you up you move around we go to brush yeah what i would say is that uh change your brush to a bamboo toothbrush and uh, remove the toothpaste get a tooth tablet okay those are very easily available go and you can buy them anywhere you are in chennai or whichever city you are in you can easily buy it how does it help why am i saying it according to any doctor they would suggest that in a year you should change your brush at least 3 to 4 times yeah for a yeah. healthy brush that means uh, the whole country we all are throwing away whatever the number of population 134 million we are throwing away so much of 
plastic. Yes, plastic right? yes. Out. So we can cut it off automatically. Another thing is uh, when we change it, now what happens in the morning, our brain is relatively free. Mm -hmm. We are relaxed. Mm -hmm. We are looking at ourselves in the mirror. And whenever we are brushing, we are looking to ourselves. And we are looking ourselves using this bamboo toothbrush. And this can slowly trickle down in our thought process that I use a bamboo toothbrush. And someday you might even talk to yourself, why do I even have this bamboo toothbrush? Or you would see yourself standing. So what happens? Like the kind of circle you live in. Mm -hmm. How do you see yourself? So the manifestation is this only. Yeah, that what you do is, let's say you imagine yourself driving this amazing car. And then you can manifest it. So now you already have the brush. So you're seeing yourself standing with this person. Sometimes when we, let's say if somebody wants to meet some um, Neil Armstrong or some this kind of guy, though he's not alive, but yes. So what we can do is like we can create an image of us and cut the image of this, let's say, Rithik Roshan and club it together. That one day I want to meet Rithik Roshan, right? So similarly here, you're seeing yourself. Mm. And this will trickle down. This will settle in your brain that why do I use bamboo toothbrush? And then next time throughout the day, if you're using a plastic bottle or you're ordering online food, your brain might, good possibility, can say, yeah, there's plastic here as well. I should do something about it. So I don't want to push people to eradicate the plastic throughout their life the whole day right now. I want them to take a start. Mm, right? mm. Even when you tell people to read books, you don't tell them go buy a library. Right? No, yeah. Or you didn't even build this library within a day. Yeah. You bought one book. Correct. You read that, you liked it, kept it. Bought another one. Or mind you, for six months you didn't. Mm. But then you felt like, oh, I really read that book and I liked it. Mm, this mm. was That was peaceful. Uh, when I read it, the experience was nice and I was feeling relaxed throughout the day or when I was in anxiety, I picked up a book and I felt mm -hmm. good. It's a nice activity. I should do it more of it. Okay. Right? okay. So that's how picking up that brush would help. We are going crazy about sneakers, shoes. Mm. Every year, globally, we are dumping out 22 billion shoes. Footwear, I mean. Not mm. only shoes, footwear. Footwear. Three times of the population itself. Mm -hmm. About. What are we doing? Right? Yeah. And still we are wearing more. 22 billion is just what we are throwing off. Let's say I am I'm, uh, in Chennai. And okay. I say I want to have green apple juice. Where is this apple coming from? It has to be imported. Or right. has been from transported country, from somebody right? else. Yeah. From the top of the country. Then it has been travelled here. And I want to have it. Somebody sitting in Ladakh or Kashmir. I want to have banana shake. The banana is coming from Kerala or Karnataka. Somewhere to Ladakh okay. or Kashmir and the milk is coming from Chandigarh or somewhere um, and then uh, sugar is coming again from Chandigarh or Delhi somewhere and then I'm using electricity to make it for you. Mm -hmm. right? Imagine the impact of that one demand versus me saying in Ladakh I'm okay to have a sea bakht on berry juice. Mm. It's there okay. locally and I'm having it. I'm here. I'm not demanding give me roti. Whenever I'm here in Chennai or any southern, in South Indian states I just eat chawal, right? Okay. Because I know that's what's here yeah. and it's local food and also that I'm traveling to experience the place, right? Yeah. Uh, I came and I had food here at your place. I love the food you made here, right? Versus if I'm there in Spiti and then I'm saying I need sambar. No, but first of all, they can't make it yeah. and they can make amazing thukpa. Okay. Right? If you're not eating thukpa, you're a fool. Have it. You're here experience it mm. me speaking in tamil in ladakh nobody will understand me yeah. and i'm making a fool yeah. out of my own self versus there i can learn about buddhism correct correct because that's the right place to be so what are we trying to do is in the name of globalization we are going haywire mm. i want to sit in india but i want to have an avocado which was grown in mexico imagine the impact of that food when it comes to climate change the biggest problem we have here is methane emission Right, though carbon emissions have been marketed way too much, but methane is really the bigger problem here. And methane emission comes from animal agriculture. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. uh, when we consume dairy product, or uh, when we consume animals themselves, uh, they are a huge source of uh, methane, methane emission. emissions. Right? Now, would people say that should we stop eating them, uh, or what will happen to them? They'll be just like out there populated I'm like no they are not really going having sex on their own right yeah uh, they yeah. are not producing on their own and uh, it's not if you don't do anything they will in the night go in a room and they'll be like okay now we are double 
it's not happening right yeah, yeah. Uh, because in reality these are factory farms mm. right uh, they want more animals because you are demanding and then that's why they are making it yeah, right yeah. Uh, it's not natural reproduction which mm. is happening over there mm. Mm. because even if you see on roads how many cows will you see versus how many ox will you see mm. right why what happens as soon as a cow gives birth if it's a male or if it's a female if it's a female they will keep it safe they will feed it and grow it because it's going to give milk yeah and that's money and it's if it's a male they'll send it right away to slaughterhouse it's of no use too much yeah. of money to invest on this one animal to grow and what do we get just meat or beef whatever thing out of it that's it that's not enough money to make yeah. so yeah. they'll just kill this thing right then and there india is the world's biggest beef exporter in the world i read it yeah right? and um, i would name it go google it and you'll know which state is the highest exporter of it okay right and uh, majority of the arab eats a uh, beef which comes from our nation because in our nation it's not allowed to kill it but you can sell, sell it, it right so you put it them into a cargo thing which goes via ships cargoes and uh, yeah you just put them inside and they might die on the way and that's fine because we didn't kill them in india they were in the ocean out of whatever reason they died and we don't even know it because now they're going to land in or some of the arab countries they'll open it even if it's dead dead they wouldn't inform it to india that hey by the way three cows we found which were dead and they came from india that's it that's how it works uh, if you have already have a home or if you're building focus on having a space where you can have few plants uh, that will first of all the way toothbrush helps us change our thought process it will help you build a relationship with nature mm. we have mm. no connection with nature like for example people who have a dog or a cat in their home they are kind to other street dogs and cats as well right uh, to even random animals versus if you don't have it then you are very like uh, it's okay what do i have to do right uh, like for example if you have a cat or a dog at home before you start your car you would want to check it down below your car that okay there's no dog or cat there and if there is you would try to shoot them away so you can move mm. on mm. versus if you don't have it you will like just go away Correct, and you will be angry at them similarly if you have some plants at least you will be able to build some relationship right? okay you will have some connection some empathy towards nature as of now we live in a concrete building mm. but if i throw away clothes uh, rather than throw away i put it at a place where i don't want to use it but i can give it to someone else to recycle it and they can make some other product out of it can be done right there's mm. this uh, ngo called gunj yeah right you can give your clothes to them for plastic there's this uh, ngo called ecocari mm. you can give it to them right they can make n number of products out of it bags and what not things right uh, for food you can compost it yeah right or even in bangalore uh, you know vani murthy right yeah bomrani the bomrani right uh, she has this group as well over there which teaches people on this thing and similarly mm. i would believe that here in uh, chennai also there would be some groups right Definitely. who can teach you on how to do it there are companies who supplies all these supplies whatever you need to have a proper setup at your home to compost losing is very easy i for example i say quit quitting is very easy winning is very difficult while i was writing the book i can quit at any second yeah, and it will yeah. be a quit but to win every second i have to win every yeah. second i have to say no i'm still on it i'm still going to do it for example to end this interview you can say right now end and yeah. it will end but to keep going you have to keep going every second Yeah. Quitting is once, winning is every second. You get the point. Similarly, here when you want to do sustainable thing, then you have to do it every second. 